Hello, my name is Ali Topkin and I work as a specialist advisor in children, lifelong learning and skills for Natural Resources Wales. I'm going to share with you how we've developed our to protect or develop a natural area that is the question training course. We've been developing training scenarios and using the mantle of the expert technique to bring learning to life and highlight future job roles. The idea of our scenario training is to allow educators to experience and work their way through linked activities which have an outcome and underlying important messages. Educators can choose to pick the ideas and activities that fit with their own planning or deliver the whole scenario. The background to our first ever to protect or develop a natural area training course was that an application for a major out-of-town retail and leisure development has been submitted by a commercial development company. Taking on the role of Natural Resources Wales Landscape Advisors, attendees work through a range of cross-curricular outdoor learning activities, the majority of which can be completed outside, to investigate what was special about a natural area. More than just a geographical location, the term Cynevin can be used to describe our relationship with the natural environment and how that connection shapes our identity, well-being and sense of belonging. With a curriculum for Wales as a guide, participants considered the merits and drawbacks of the planning application through the six areas of learning and experience. Will the Council's planning committee support the suggestions of enterprising creative contributors who want to develop the land, boost the local economy and create jobs? Or will the objections of ethically informed citizens who want to protect the landscape for future generations sway them to reject the proposal? to protect or develop a natural area. If you ran our scenario with your learners, what decision would they come to if a planning application was submitted to build on their school field or local park? Stacey Jones, a year four, five and six teacher from Uskalixum in Flintshire, who attended the training, explains how she put the ideas and activities into action with her learners. So the, the project that we've undertaken is a scenario-based mantle of the expert project, which involves an area which is very local to the school, Hulkin Mountain. We attended the training and lots of teachers were immersed in the experiences and the outdoors um, and then brought it back into class. And so the children currently believe that Fletcher County Council are planning on creating a retail park on Holcomb Mountain and they have been tasked with investigating the pros and cons as to whether that should go ahead. And the purpose of the immersive um, project-based tasks is to try and get the children outside for a purpose rather than just for um, outdoor learning for the sake of going outside. And so lots of the project work that we've undertaken with this has been um, very immersive cross-curricular new curriculum experiences for the children which they are fully engaged with. The project has been able to cover all areas of learning within the curriculum and that is the first time that we've been able to have a fully encompassing topic um, as opposed to teaching subjects discreetly. It's also managed to cover an awful lot of the four purposes. In Humanities, the children started off by looking at um, the history of Hulkin Mountain, as Hulkin Mountain is extremely rich in history, particularly with the lead mining and, and the quarrying that's gone on, on, on the mountain over the past. And they've done a timeline based on the history of Hulkin Mountain which has led really nicely into our RE work on creation and how the world was created. Being a church school, it's always very difficult to encompass RE within our curriculum, but this project's done it beautifully. With the work that we've done with regards to respective arts and the work that we've done with our science and technology area of learning, the children have mainly been outside to produce their work, sketching within their local environment, using noise meters and lux meters to record the light levels and the noise levels within the local area and how that impacts should a retail park be built and this has benefited the children hugely in terms of engagement in terms of mental health and well-being and being able to um, express their feelings about their local area and their connecting and have a deeper appreciation of where they live and what is within their doorsteps.